Yo. Brand new single, Every Single Friday, is still underway. Peaceful Fridays. This song is called Taken. It's actually a really interesting song, and I'm really excited to get into the computer, show you how I made the song, did something a lot different with the arrangement. There's actually a pretty solid meaning behind it. I mean, all my music sort of has a great meaning to it, but this song in particular uh, is, you know, got something a little bit different, and I'm really excited to jump into the computer, show you how I made this song. Let's get it. I made this song February 25th, 2021, and actually, I made this when my brother, Keith Datu, was here to visit me. Keith was here, Gabe was here, and I want to say Melvin was actually here the day that we made this song. Me and Keith were just cooking up together. This is a sample that I have, and I reversed it, I remember. Yeah, very vibey, you can already tell. You go a lot of different directions with this. Next, played some keys. Super vibey. Played another instrument. Yeah, I like this. To me, this is a really unique sounding instrument, like a distorted pluck kind of thing. So all together, here's what the melody sounds like. I like this a lot. We'll get to the drums next. First thing I want to play for you, the 808. Oh my god, that 808 is knocking. Kick. Oh my gosh. Knocking. Knocking. Chorus got the snare. Listen to that snare. Smacks you in the face. Hi hats. Rolls. Got an open hat. All together, here's what the drums sound like. With the melodies, here's what the beat sounds like. Mm, mm. Sweet. I'm actually, I want to break down how I did the chorus. Taking back to all the times when I didn't even know How I was about to make it, had the energy to go Was searching out for guidance, but imposters love to show That light be moving fast, but we need to take it slow So, with this chorus, I don't know, it just, to me it feels a little different You know, I was a lot more, I don't know how to explain it, but I was just very like I had this different type of energy when I did this chorus. You know what? Really interesting thing happens when I make a lot of music. When I say that, I mean, I'll give you an example. Like right now, currently, today, I'm really not producing a lot of brand new songs. I've been focusing a lot on other things in my life. You know, I just got engaged. I'm getting married. This has literally nothing to do with the song, but I kind of want to explain. It's going to relate back to this. I just got engaged, getting married, and... You know, my fiance and I are moving in together and stuff, which is sick. And also just started a new business. It's a social media agency. So I've been taking this time to just mix and master songs that I've already made and put them out. So I haven't been spending tons of time creating brand new songs. Why do I say that? When I am spending a lot of time creating a lot of new music and I'm like, all right, every day I'm hitting the studio and I'm making stuff. You know, sometimes I'm gonna make stuff that's not that good and I toss it. Sometimes I'm making stuff that's, all right, this is pretty good, I could do something with it, I'll get back to it later. And then when I go, when you start going a lot, what I, what I do, when I start going a lot and like make a lot of stuff, eventually I'm like, all right, I wanna switch it up a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, well I already made this type of song last week and I'm like, if I feel like I'm starting to make a lot of the same songs, I'm gonna switch it up. This was made in a time when I was just making a lot of music, so the energy of the chorus, the way I wrote the chorus, and the vibe and the theme is a lot, I feel like a lot different. So, you know, we'll check it out one more time, listen to the way the, the chorus really sounds. Taking back to all the times when I didn't even know How I was about to make it, had the energy to go Was searching out for guidance, but imposters love to show That life be moving fast, but we need to take it slow You know, what? basically what the song is about, the song is called Taken. And it's really about, it's part of like talking about my journey and how, you know, I'm sort of taken in different directions. You know, when I'm on this journey of, as a musician, rapper, music producer, all that, I'm also, you know, really forced to be an entrepreneur. And when you're 
a song, any kind of musician, songwriter, music producer, beat maker, audio engineer, anything like that. If you're doing it independently, you are you, you do have to become a, an entrepreneur. You have to at least have entrepreneurial tendencies. So if you're not going to start your own thing, if you're like, hey, I'm an audio engineer, but I want to work for a studio, that's cool. You still need to have entrepreneurial tendencies. Me, I've really taken on the role of like being an entrepreneur and I really have like gone that route. And so when you're an entrepreneur and you, you know, when I'm as an entrepreneur, I don't have like my, I have to set my own plan. I have to set my own expectations. I have to set my own daily goals. And so it's not like the same. You're basically just thrown, thrown into the wild and been like, all right, go. And you're like, all right, go. This whole song is like about that journey. And it's about being taken in different directions. It's about staying focused. It's about clarity. It's about me, me wanting to really get to that next step in my career, but like having to stay on the right route. So verse one is, you know, I'll let you listen to it. I won't play you the whole verse, but verse one is really like in this metaphor of a forest. Pull up to the forest, finally made it. GPS then got me lost, a different route, I had to take it. No life better than mine, I can't replace it. Sometimes the truth just cuts too deep, but I still gotta face it. So it's kinda like talking about my route. And then verse two is actually about collaborating and it's about how I'm super bad at collabs. Like I'm horrible at collabs, I'm horrible at working with people in general. I'm very, as you can see, I'm a solo, I'm a solo artist and I'm a, I even produce all my own music. So a lot of this stuff is very like, it's hard like to collaborate. And so the second verse is talking all about collaborations. And the arrangement of the song is interesting. I'll play you a little of that. I love messing with arrangement. The arrangement is interesting because in verse one, there's no drums at all. So it starts intro and then the verse comes in. I go the whole verse, no drums. I'll play you a little of that. And then I'll show you the transition of how it goes into the chorus. Check it out. Pull up to the forest, finally made it. GPS then got me lost. A different route, I had to take it. No life better than mine. I can't replace it. Sometimes the truth just cuts too deep, but I still gotta face it Now a banner looking back, no longer can see my car Start to have regrets, cause I didn't know how far I still Right, so it goes no drums, I'ma go fast forward to the part where it gets closer to the chorus Who decreased my self-esteem? Taking back to all the times when I didn't even know I, I was about to make it, had the energy to go Was searching out for guidance, but imposters love to show That life be moving fast, but we need to take it slow one thing that I've always tried to pride myself on as a creative too is my arrangement. The way I arrange the songs. Sometimes my friends ask me about like tips on that kind of stuff. When do the verses come in? Like the verse breaks. Like is there a break in the song? When is the chorus? What do you do in the chorus? And I always try to make things really, really, really simple. For me, like I try to do things intentionally. Like with this one, I was like, alright, I'm gonna just try having no drums in the first verse at all so that when the chorus comes in, it makes it come out so much more and it makes my job easier down the road. So as a creative, try to make things a little bit simpler. And you know what I'm learning as an entrepreneur too? Try, again, try to make things simple. I'll give you an example, like with my social media agency, Prophecy Media. There's so many different things you can do. There's so many different tasks that can be done, but just making things super simple is what makes things you're gonna get more results, you're gonna be more efficient, and you're gonna be more effective if you just make things simple. That's really it. And this song, it's kind of funny, this whole thing that I'm showing you right now, this video is like more about a lifestyle behind the scenes video than it is about this song. The song is more about the meaning. The song was simple, I had these melodies, I tried some different stuff out. You know, drums are pretty much standard, I mean, you know, nothing like extremely crazy. Mixing wise, I tried to make the vocals crispy and clear, but for the most part, it was all about making things simple. And that's what you gotta do in life. You gotta just literally make things simple. And I'm not trying to sound like, you know, a know-it-all or anything like that. I just, just telling you, sharing my experiences with you, like, yeah, just make things simple, make things a lot easier. Boil things down to a process that's repeatable and scalable. Scalable meaning you can make it bigger and bigger. So that's really, uh, I mean, shoot, it's really, that's what the song is about. It's about, you know, Staying focused on your journey and don't get taken in different directions and just be the best version of yourself, be the best that you can be. So listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click below, like, and subscribe to the channel because I'm putting out a brand new song and behind the scenes video every single week. So the behind the scenes videos drop Monday and the song drops on Fridays and we do it all again the next week. And that's how we're doing it to end off 2021. Brand new song every single Friday. So if you haven't already, go follow me on Spotify, go to all the preferred streaming platforms, go check me out. And uh, can't wait to talk to you again soon. Peace!